This is my community. A community is a place where a group of people live together. There are communities everywhere on Earth. There are small communities and large communities too. Communities have some things in common, but each one is different and special too. Let's learn all about communities. People live, work, and play in a community. There are thousands of communities all across the world. A community can be big, like New York City, that has millions and millions of people and thousands of buildings. Or it can be as small as a farming community, like this one. There are several homes and barns in this community, lots of animals, and only a couple hundred people. No matter how large or small a town or city is, it's the people that live there that make up the community. Some communities are old and have been around for a long time. This is old Sacramento, California. People have lived here for many, many years. Some buildings have been here for over 100 years. There are also communities that are brand new, with new buildings being built and new people moving in. Every community is different, but each one has something special about it. Many different people make up a community. Sometimes people move to a community from a different place. This creates diversity. Diversity happens when many different cultures and backgrounds are shared in a community. In a city like San Francisco, there are many diverse communities. This is Chinatown, one of many different communities that make up San Francisco. Diversity includes the way people dress, the food they eat, the way they celebrate events. Diversity is a wonderful thing. It builds a community and helps it grow. Every community has different types of buildings. Some buildings are called institutions. An institution is an important part of a community. An institution is a school or a library. An institution can be a park or a government building, like the town hall or a courthouse. It can also be a place of worship, like a church, temple, or mosque. Institutions make communities different from one another. Institutions allow people in a community to come together to work, learn, and play. There are many people who work for a community. Teachers work for the community. Their job is to educate the children who live there. Policemen and firefighters work for the community too. Their job is to keep a community safe. Trash collectors work to keep a community clean and healthy. Postal workers deliver letters and packages to people who live in a community. Each community has leaders. Leaders work to make the community better for everyone. Some communities have mayors. Other communities have directors. Mayors and directors work with other community leaders to make laws for the community. Laws help make a community safe for the people who live there. When many people work together, they can make a community a nice place to live. There are different types of communities. Large communities have lots of people, many buildings, and many streets. Small communities have less people and more open space. These two communities are different because of their size. There are three types of communities. Urban, suburban, and rural. An urban community can be a city, like San Francisco. An urban community has a large population. A population is the number of people living in a community. 
Since so many people live in a city, they all have to live very close together. Urban communities have hundreds of apartment buildings that many people can live in together. Urban areas can also have thousands of homes. Since there are so many people in an urban community, there are more opportunities for jobs. Cities have office buildings where there are many different kinds of businesses. Some cities are built around industries. An industry is all the businesses that make one kind of product or provide one kind of service. For example, the city of Detroit, Michigan is centered around the automobile industry. There are many factories in and around Detroit where many people work to make cars and trucks. Detroit is nicknamed the Motor City. Urban areas also have many restaurants and different kinds of stores. There are markets where people can buy fresh fruits and vegetables and retail shops where people can buy clothes and shoes. An urban community has lots of fun things for people to do. There are theaters to go to, to see shows and concerts. Many cities have museums or art galleries to explore. Sometimes, urban communities have colleges and universities filled with students. This is Yale University. It's located in the city of New Haven, Connecticut. New Haven is an urban community. People living in urban communities need a way to get from one place to another. Many people use public transportation to get somewhere. Buses are one type of public transportation. Subways are another. Subways are trains that travel beneath the streets and carry passengers throughout a city. Other cities, like San Francisco, have trolley cars that help people travel around the city. Many people use public transportation to go somewhere. Some urban communities have an airport People can travel from their community to another one far, far away. Just outside of a city, there are suburban communities. Suburban communities were once farmlands. Then, people moved out of the city and bought up farmland to build houses and neighborhoods. Many people moved from the city into the suburbs to escape the crowds and noise of city life. A suburb has fewer people than an urban community its population is much smaller. Suburbs have places to live, schools, and businesses, just like an urban community. But since there is more land in the suburbs, everything is spread further apart. Highways were built so people could travel from the suburb to the city. Since highways made it more convenient for people to travel, more people moved out of the city and more suburbs were built. People who travel from the suburbs to the city for work are called commuters. Some people who live in larger suburbs don't need to travel to work at all. They can work and live in the same community. Suburban communities have stores, banks, restaurants, and provide many services that people need. Today, most Americans live in the suburbs. There are thousands of suburbs all across the country. Communities with the smallest populations are called rural communities. In a rural community, you might find more trees and animals than people. A place is rural when it has very few people and is surrounded by countryside. Rural communities are located far away from cities. Many people who live in rural communities work on farms where they grow crops and raise animals. Some work as ranchers or farmers to raise sheep or cattle. This is a dairy farm. Here, a dairy farmer milks the cows every day. Then the milk is shipped to urban and suburban communities. Rural communities may not have a lot of people or buildings, but there are lots of wide open spaces to hike and explore. 
urban communities, suburban communities, and rural communities are very different from each other. But it's their differences that make each community so important. You see, all of these communities rely on each other. Businesses in cities need workers from the suburbs. Urban and suburban areas need the food products that are produced in rural communities. Each community helps the other. We've seen that communities are large and small. Different communities have many things in common. But it's their differences that make each community unique and special. <laughs> like us. Subscribe. Ring the bell. Comment, Comment below. below.